this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to do, change the uh, lock ring on your Galaxy Nexus and I haven't tried this on any other, any other device so this is only being attempted right now on the Galaxy Nexus you're going to need a uh, rooted phone if you don't know how to root the phone go ahead to um, on my channel and I have a video how to root the phone on here um, if you see I have a custom um, lock ring already on here the load up is actually a uh, Heineken logo on there and I'm going to go ahead and change it back and forth twice so you can kind of see how I do it. So first your device needs to be rooted. Um, go ahead and do a backup. So just in case anything happens to your phone, anything goes wrong, you'll be able to restore it at the same exact state where you're at on the phone. So if you don't want to do an Android backup, also look at the channel and there's another video how to do a backup on your phone. And I'll restore your phone in the same state if anything would go wrong. You'll just restore it there. So go after you go ahead and have your backup done, uh, I'm going to go on this app here. It's called ROM Manager. You go ahead and download it. There's a free version. Let that load up there. And if your phone is not rooted, it would ask you right here for ROM um, permission to go into the phone. I'm going to go into recovery mode. Oh, actually, you know, we're going out of here. Actually, you do the backup. Um, let's go ahead and show you. While I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the backup. You go to Manage and Restore Backups. That's where you can check all your backups you did on your phone. That's all I did. And you can do Backup Current ROM, and that is um that takes you to an Android backup to get it done. Again, go ahead and watch the video, though, so you can get more detail about that. So the app you're going to download is ROM Manager you're going to have, and you're going to have Ninja Morph, this app here. Download that, go inside of it. Again, your phone has to be rooted for this one to work also. From here, once you open up Ninja Morph and you download the file, you're going to place the file on your SD card on your phone. And I'll show you how to get there also. So, first, we're going to go to where it says New Project. Hit on New Project. Let this run. Then you're going to go where it says System. It says Framework. Then you're going to stroll all the way where it says Framework Res.apk. You know, open up that one. Let it extract all the files. And if you look at the thread in the link that I have in the description, it'll go more in detail if you guys have a couple questions stuff in here, or you can just comment on the video below on here. Because you're going to move, after you download the file on your device, you're going to move it in a specific folder, which you can check it out in Ninja Morph out here. Ninja Morph is changing custom files and everything on your phone itself. Then you go to where it says res. Now you're going to scroll down where it says XHDPI, drawable XHDPI. From there, you're going to scroll down to the lock screen area. So it says IC lock ring. And I'll show you exactly. It's two different ones the normal state and the press state. And if you go here, it is lock screen. Handle and have screen pressed. Android themes. Then from themes, you're going to go ahead and choose these all different lock rings I have on here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change one. So I already have the Heineken, I have the Jordan. Let me just go back and actually show you how much I have. The Heat, the Toad, Batman, Special. I could go in a couple of these and kind of show you how they look. There's the old school Batman one. You go back. I have all the different ones on here. I'm going to go through all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to one on here. And let's actually do, we could do the Jordan logo. Hit you know, on Jordan. Framework res. You just open folder. You're going to X that's HTPI. You're not going in the X one. You're going the other one here. To replace the ice here.
then you're going to go where it says XH Drawable S XH DPI. You go to the lock screen on here again. It's repeating the process and don't mess with any other files in here. You're just doing that specific one here. There it is, change. It goes says pressed. We're going to change it to that one. Yes, overwrite it. So whichever one you download or whichever file one, you just do the same step. After you got those two replaced, you're going to go back. And you're going to go where it says finish project at the bottom here. Now it's going to ask you a couple of things here. And you're going to reboot. The phone's going to reboot. Don't panic. It's supposed to do that. And it'll come up and you'll have the lock ring on here. After that, you'll hit framework res.apk. And now it's going to create the package. Going to overwrite, yes, yes. Would you like to delete the clamp? Click yes. So it's yes, yes, yes. You can let it do there. You can repeat this as many times as you want and change it to all different lock rings, whichever one you want on there. I'm just doing one here so I can kind of show you the steps. Phone's going to reboot now. That's my boot animation. Actually, it comes up here. Normally, it's the blocks in the rainbow color that shows up, but I have an alternate one I changed on here. I'll have a video up for this one, too. Go ahead and subscribe to the video, and you'll get updates and everything of new videos and customs, themes, and everything that I placed on my phone. i kind of show you how to do it on the Galaxy Nexus. Here we go. So after this comes up, you should see the lock ring on here. If anything went wrong, anything I'll I have another video to show you how to get in recovery mode and how to restore it at that Android backup which you placed earlier. So if anything went wrong, you can go to that same state. And let this load up here. There you go. There's the Jordan logo. Change the custom lock ring. If you like this video, you think it was helpful, and you want to see more videos, everything on here that I have, go ahead and like and subscribe to the video. Comment on the video what you think of it, and uh, if you want to do it, or if it works for you and your success and everything you have. Okay, there's the lock ring, and show you it works. There you go. And my normal plug on. And that's it. That's how you change your lock ring on a Galaxy Nexus.